few weeks ago, I bought one iMac mid-2011. It came with a i5 processor and 4 gigs of RAM. Later on, we upgraded that one with 16 gigs of RAM. Now, today, it's time to upgrade that computer again. Today, we are going to upgrade that computer with an SSD. That computer has one mechanical one terabyte of hard drive. Sometimes those mechanical hard drive get old and later on it started slowing down your PC. So today it's time to start with upgrade process. So let's start with me. To start the process we need three things. One, the main thing is SSD. I bought from eBay that solid state drive for $25. This is 840 Pro Samsung solid state drive. You can see or not. I'm going to focus and you see if you're going to see or not. Yeah. To start with the process, we need one SSD. I bought from eBay that SSD for $25. This is 128GB SSD. The next thing we needed that is one USB to SATA converter. We are going to install the macOS on that SSD using another computer through USB. We are not going to swap the hard drive directly to the computer before installing the OS. That converter going to help us to install the Mac OS on that SSD. Next and final thing we needed that is another Mac computer. I am using that MacBook Air mid-2013 to install the Mac OS on that SSD. This computer is running macOS Catalina, but we cannot install macOS Catalina on our mid-2011 iMac. Before installing that, we have to insert that SSD to the USB here. We are going to install the USB to that laptop now we we can see that there is a hard drive showing mac os that means that the ssd is showing there now we have to restart the computer or we can just shut down the computer and after shutting down the computer we have to start the computer by pressing control The computer is now shut down. Now we are going to start the computer by pressing command option shift R. And it say that internet recovery started. Hopefully you can see or not. I am not sure but it say that internet recovery started hopefully you see I'm going to turn off the hopefully After pressing comment alt and shift plus R button, we start the computer. After pressing comment option shift and R together, we turn on the computer. Now we see it's showing internet recovery option. It's showing that how many times it's going to need it to start that computer. So we'll wait until the next screen is coming up 
with that comment we can able to install the least updated OS on that SSD that means the oldest one available on the internet we can able to install on that SSD after a few minutes spending the OS X utility window has been appeared there is the first option is restore your computer from a time machine we don't have any time machine so we are not going to use that one install OS X we are going to use that option after formatting the hard drive I mean SSD the second third option is get help online if I need to get any help online from the apple.com regarding the installation and error I can go there and get it and the last one is disk utility we are going to use that one but before using anything we have to see that our computer connected with the Wi-Fi because the operating system is going to install through internet so we'll select that disk utility then we'll click on continue then we'll see there is a two hard drive one is disk 1 256 gigabytes and another is 128 gigabytes 256 gigabyte we are not going to touch that one because that one is our macbook hard drive we don't want it to erase everything from our macbook to install that operating system on that ssd so we are going to just use that ssd of 128 gigabytes after clicking there I'm going to zoom in so you can see properly what's going there come on so I already zoom in now we're going to click on erase then we are going to choose Mac OS extended journal then we are going to give a name we are going to give a name OS X to that drive OS X then we are click on erase then again erase after waiting for few moment that drive is going to formatted to install OS X we can see there is we can see the OS X there then we'll go back to again that with utility window now we are going to choose reinstall OS X then we are going to click on continue voila can you see my computer running Mac OS Catalina but still we able to go back to the previous version of the Mac OS using that option I told you that one was command option shift and R you have to press that one then you have to start the computer so we'll start with that installation process it say everything is it say to download and reinstall OS X your computer eligibility will be verified with the Apple then we are going to click on continue then we click on agree then click on I agree we can see we give the name of that hard drive is OS X it's there that external hard drive I mean that SSD so we'll choose that one then click on install it's gonna be downloading that OS first then it's going to install on that SSD so after downloading we are going back to start or finish the installation process it say it's going to take more than two hours so we will back after 
The download process has been finished. After finishing the download, it started installing the OS X. After downloading that, Mac OS Marbex, it's restarted the computer and now this one is installing that Mac OS Marbex. So it's going to take more about 20 minutes and we will back then or you can see in speed mode. It say after installing the operating system we have to restart the computer. The computer is going to restart in a few seconds. The computer has started. From there hopefully we are able to go start the system setup. Until then we are going to wait. After installation process done and restarting the computer, we are on that welcome screen. We are going to choose United States as our country. Then we will choose the keyboard as US keyboard. Then we have to choose what Wi-Fi we wanted to choose here. Or the internet connection we needed to get connected to the internet and finish the setup. Then we are going to click on continue. Hopefully it will connect. It say your network connection could not be configured. We'll just click on continue. Maybe we put the wrong password. Let's try again. Oh. What did it say? After entering the password and click on continue, we that give that option to transfer something from the old PC or old Mac. We are going to do don't transfer anything information now and we'll just click on continue then we'll click on agree then we'll click on I agree again then I'm going to give a name of that computer M-A-R-V-I-C account name Marvix we're going to give a password then another password then we'll just click on continue setting up your Mac it's going to take a little bit of time but after that we will go inside the Mac interface wow voila this is that old ancient Macways Mavic is there. We can see Launchpad is there and all the application is there installed. So that's for now for that video. All my friend, if you like my video, please please subscribe to get more tech reviews, tech videos, tutorial videos and like and 
comment what you wanted to see next and please share with other people to share that information so if they need to know they can do that by their own and I'm going to come with the second video swapping that SSD with that mechanical hard drive on my iMac mid 2011